Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and I hope everyone's doing well. I didn't hit record so I did get one pin in. Thank goodness I'm always looking up. Uh, I should need to show you the pin at least. I thought this is a land of pin show. Isn't it gorgeous? It's Ebonite with, uh, that's being hand painted. It's gorgeous. Just beautiful. All right, let's get moving. Next one is my Visconti. I also bought at the Land of Pen Show. So I hope everyone's doing well. I have several pens inked. Sorry about the buzzing, but that's not us, that is neighbor. There it is, isn't it gorgeous? All right, next one is the Sailor. Bought this at the San Francisco pen show. So most of my new pens I have been inked, or waiting to be inked for next month. A hard medium fine. I have plenty of those. It's called a rosa and I know there's another word but I didn't write it down. And it has a new ink that I bought not too long ago. It's a rodeo. A rodeo. Um, Troublemaker. I had a lot of their inks. I do enjoy them. So here's, oh I did because it doesn't come with a cartridge. A converter, excuse me. So I bought that. It's flowers too. Yeah. It's a pretty pin. I like flowers. I might keep it around for November. I haven't decided. I guess we'll find out November, huh? Next one is, yes, I have a cheat sheet. I have um, about 42 inked. Um, it's from Stationery Studio Sun. Uh, it's on Etsy. If you can't find them, just message me through Instagram and I'll, I'll link it. It's a glass nib. It's gorgeous. This is, you've not heard that they've discontinued this color. That's sad. So sad. But a popcorn. I love this color. It's almost out. So I just think, well, I might as well keep using it because otherwise it'll be that great. You know, I haven't had quite as many problems with most of the inks other than what I had. Other than Sailor, or medium sig, Franklin Kristoff. I have a lot of their pins. I like them. Flame. I've been using a lot of the diamond ink bent colors. It's definitely an October one, in my opinion. It's not worth much, but that's my opinion. Because <laughs> your, your opinion matters, my opinion matters. You know, it's just it's your opinion. All right, I can't say this one, so I'm not going to try. But I will bring it up once I'm done writing it out. Stunned by Nib Lab. It's a Franklin Kristoff. In. Um, it was long enough to hold the nib. It has three oysters. Let's see, I was going to write three. <laughs> and it's, 
I'd like to go and try that. Mustard. There we go. Let me hold this up. I know I'm lucky to have all these nids. Take my word on it. I do know it. Because a lot of times they, they don't. And there it is. Right there. And this is how you can have them. Here's another one I love. Actually, I love all my nibs, even my plain nibs. This is, I, a lot of places call it um, a third stick. I thought mine years ago from Toronto Pins in Canada. And this is Tonoi River paper. I love this pen from um, White Shed. Just love it. So clear, so beautiful. So I'm gonna have to do a video on what our plans are. I'm thinking about cutting. No, not giving, not selling or anything. For um. Sorry, I'm concentrating on. Bandadoom? No, I don't know. I'll show you when I. Nib Lab. Pen third. Pins. I just love this. I, I just love these crazy little nibs. Sugar, snap. Put this on. You can say, oh, yes. I used to keep this one um, inked all the time. But then, you know, I had to wash out every pen. So I'm slowly getting through. I just love this pen. Am I a big Halloween person? No. Did I show you the nib? Let's make sure. This is the nib lab. There's the spelling. Fire hose, isn't it? With the right ink. This ink seems to be a bit dry for it. And now, this is it. And I bought this one at the San, Fran San Francisco Pen Show, I believe. Or it was. No, I'm pretty sure it's San Francisco. No, I think it was at Orlando Pen Show. Oh, wow, it's one of them. How's that? Just a, and it is a fine nib. And then I think this is made in Japan, which means fine is more like a Western. Extra fine. Like. Okay, here's a scribo. I love this pen. I like all my scribos, you know, some of them are just a bit more than than humans, is what I was gonna say. Than others. They all line up pretty well. Just over north, I just love it. It's just like a chocolate covered nib, and I like it because I thought, oh, they probably, when I first saw it, I said, oh, they didn't take the photo right, but I kind of love it. Then I started seeing other photos, I go, oh, no, this is so cool. <laughs> so there's the first 10 done. Uh, all right. 
Believe it or not, I did not remember and I couldn't find my um, journal on my pens because uh, I tried to make sure that I was thinking and thinking. And my memory is sometimes sketchy, but guess what? I remembered. I go, yes. Oh. There we go. So you can save most of it. Just an orange one. I bought it intentionally for Halloween. I know, I know. You're saying that that's kind of green. It, it, let me show you how it dries. It does not go in green at all. I've tried. See, there it is. It's like a brownish green. So it's a bit, oh, that's kind of weird. Yes, it is. Very weird, actually. Okay, let's get that down. All right, and on the look I thought in San Francisco, the baby. So the two pins I do post, and it's meant to be posted. This is a soft, beautiful nib. It's a, a take small cartridges. That's what it's called around. Look at that. It's a, it's a tiny nib. That's a tiny pin. That's gorgeous. Just let it just unscrew, unscrew. Boop. Yeah, I've been in a long, long. Love that. On. Now you remember, I always change around my um, nits. This is a SIG. This is done by A. Luso. And this is Pilot. And I'm not even going to try and say Ducky, maybe? Huh? Assuming? Probably not. I love this pen. Everything about it I love. This one is definitely going away. This is what I call a string summer pen. Yes, I do do that. I know, I know. It's musty to ink. I know they had hard starts with this pen. So I think it's a dry ink. Apparently. Carolina Pen Company. I bought this at Atlanta Pen Show several years ago because we don't go to it anymore. But I am going to two shows next year. This one, um, I'll never take this. I love this nib so much. It's something um, Jonathan worked, not worked on. He tunes them when you buy it. Oh, just another thing that I love this. You already know the story. That's two ladies were talk. We were talking, having a good time, and you know, they talked me into it. They said I'd be sorry if I didn't, and they are correct to this day. Okay, this is an extra, extra, extra fine, two, extra, 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 extra fine. That's Auntie. When Bill just who did it. This is um, pins. This is timing. So did you guys get any of the ink bits? So now there's two. Um, I'll let you know on a secret. Not really a secret. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous? It was, I commissioned this. Oh, I'm just so happy with it still. Just love it. And I'm a presser, so nothing's quite as thin as it could be. I do tend to press my nibs. Leonardo.
mustard pen. It is a number that is not a limited edition. All right. This one I just kept the same name on, I think. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. This is broad. Eluso again. This was a limited edition. I don't know if it's 25, the 50, the, oh my goodness. So much thought in this pen. Let me finish writing this up. I wish I could find, I know where this at, sorta, but I, my, it hurt my arm, so. So much thought is, um, I think it's called a water lily. There's this, there's the lily. No, yeah, and there's a sand dollar. Then, and it came in a sleeve with a, that looks just like this. Uh, a packet, your number, uh, very, very well done. Uh, I've had it for years. And that's very new to at that one pens. And I said, well, if I had a seen one from him again, I was going to buy it. And then I saw it and I go, oh, it's expensive. Of course, nowadays, it's not. You know, when you're new at it, you go, oh, am I? But you know what? I've never been sad buying that one. Never thought twice. It's gorgeous. Hanging rice, troublemaker. Oh, this one was thought at the Atlanta Pen Show. It was my first Atlanta Pen Show, so I always do something special for each show. And this one, I bought a gold nib to go with this pen. It's a flat or a matte, excuse me. It's just a beautiful pen. I I, I really do love this pen. Okay, this pin I bought at San Francisco Pin Show. And I had CY. Turn it into a needle. Casito? Close maybe? Mr. Burke. Funky Lake. As soon as I heard the name Funky Lake, um, I used to live in Reno, and um, there's a, um, a lake called Pyramid Lake. It's on an Indian reservation. And um, it's funky. I mean, it's not one you want to get close to because you think it's shadow and then you just drop. Uh, bodies get dumped there. I wish I could say I'm lying or not. Uh, uh, and we've been, this is just gossip back then. Uh, organized crime would do that. Uh, it's just an interesting, like, yeah, you can, you can drive around it. Um, I know they had any desire to go by uh, in it for that reason. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Pyramid Lake is very uh, interesting. And um, outside of Reno, like I said, it is an Indian reservation. It's just really interesting lake. And then when I saw, heard the name Funky Lake, the first thing I thought is Pyramid Lake. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Pyramid Lake. Anyway, it, Reno's the next biggest town to it, I believe. It's been years since I've been back. Okay, this is T.E. Tenavius. I'm sure I'm saying now. Oh, that's me. By pen room. It is thinner than a needle. In the William. Oh, I'm not going to try and say that. I'll see you guys there. If I can say green. Yeah, I had pen around there. This is San Francisco's pen show nib. I forgot to get the Orlando one. The 
see, it's, it's, it's the way it is when you're, this is 0.15 or less. Now I still press, and that's part of the problem. But the, the, this is a needle that I there hardly press, and that's another one. I, I pressed a little bit on both, because that's what I do, and you can see it's much thinner than a needle. Do I have my paperwork? Oh, I do, I do, I do. Sorry. Did I do that on accident? Did I... That's, oh, thank goodness. Okay, this is just a regular grid. Look at this. Look at that. That is the alphabet and zero through nine or 10. I don't remember. Can you guys see that, huh? On that little tiny square. That's what Ten Round did. He does that. Oh, at least I didn't. Oh, oh Jane, you need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did that one. Oh, boy. What can I say? What can I say? Oh, not a lot, obviously. I tried to collect all the states I'd lived in, but I don't know. I only collected a few. I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington, so I had to get that one first. Or whatever, whatever time it came out. Um, I do have my cheat sheet. You guys know that. Oh, this one is on bought at uh, San Francisco Pen Show by Newton Pens. So how are you guys doing? Um, this is a medium. You see some shading? That's holding for a bit more. So maybe I need to go to a broad. You know, I love my broads. Oh, Taylor Pins. Online. No? I know I bought that at the Orlando Pin Show last, last year. So you guys going to any pin shows uh, next year? Or this year, I know they're still going on. Very on? I'm sure I'm seeing it wrong. Close, eh? It's another one I wish they had more shading. It's a pretty one. All right, next one is already empty. This is Newton Pins with a 1.1 stub, or is it out of five? You know, it's, I know it's left over from last month. And I just ran it dry. You see, they just started. Well, I actually ink cut a little bit earlier. Sometimes I just don't have time doing my currently inked, or I do something else. You know how it is. You get another video, you get all excited for that, so that's what you put in. Uh, so it's just... Oh. Uh, this, I finally looked, took a close look. I think that's what it is. That is a castle. This is Cinderella Slither. See the Slither right there. It's a sailor, you already know that. And bundle books. This is it. That was. Oh, I messed that up already. Slipper. It's our new, um, Piston filler, I guess you call it. It's not a that. Uh, Rialo. I like it. I just, you know, blue is not my color. I love sparkles, though. So, you know, ooh, gotta have that one. <laughs> I do. I love sparkles. My husband hates it when we go into Cracker Barrel to eat breakfast sometimes. Every 
table has sparkles. Some sort of sparkle. Can you see? Oh, well, pen slop. Kalina pens. Um, I bought this online. They don't make this one anymore. It's called Ma Maui. Got a bit of a slant going on. Oh, I need to show you the nib. Sorry. It's a three stack. That's why it's three. That's how Pen Sloth usually does it. Gorgeous, isn't it? As I was saying earlier, it's another beautiful pen. And they had the screw in um, converters. I actually like that a lot. I don't tend to get. Um, uh, ink in the section here. Okay, this is a medium. Zodiac. Pins. Colors. Lido. That's how I'm going to say it. Just a stock nib for now. I like playing with them too. What I, this is called um, Gemini. I intentionally bought the Gemini because I was born in the month of Gemini. Or, or the month I was born in was, is called. I was born in June, so it's Gemini. Don't you love this? I know, I said I'm not a blue person. It has a lot of gray, though. We'll just go with that. Um, I just don't want. There again, sparkles. <laughs> I love my sparkles. <laughs> Okay, uh, another Leonardo. Tiny Yule Tide. Sometimes I reinvent names. You've seen this one, one ninety nine and one ninety nine, and it's beautiful. Okay, Tonighter. I love this pen. Uh, last chance at Atlas. It's medium. It's all they had. It's B E U. Holy shit. It's gorgeous now. All right, you know which one this is. One of my favorites. If I could, it'd always be in my top five, but I can't. <laughs> no, this is Dick's Conti. Sorry. It really is one of my favorites. Oh. Oh. <gasps> See? Shows you how much. See, that's a trouble. You don't have the ink window. Yep, it's dead. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I haven't had that happen in a long time. Oh, but I can make this out because I'm going to put it back in. This one isn't quite the same. Uh, we'll just leave it. It's at Mont Blanc. Ultramarine. There. Say, I love that pen. 
I really don't ever see it other than when I force myself to get it out of, say, Jane, you're not, you need to change it out. I'll be kicking and screaming. Critters extreme. Nib grinder. Ink. Institute. Kind of know. Sometimes I do. This is a grind. It's not a. I had this done and hold it. Nope. I sent for that one because it has his logo on the nib. It's gorgeous. I love this one. Oh, I can't believe that ran out of ink. It's been a while though. All right. Here's another fun one. There are other at that. Kagadachi, I think is how you say it. I'm sure I'm wrong. Please forgive me. River City Pins. This is Dineen. One more sleep. This is one of those faux opals. I was going to buy one this year. Um, the problem is I liked them all, so I bought the first pin. I bought this one instead. I'll buy a fellow opal next year if he has them. Two pin shows, it looks like. I, I can never say for sure until the time comes, you know. You know how that one goes. All right, this one is not Orlando pin show. Not the look. This one has a bit of a hard start. Let's see. Oh, no, nope, not this time. This is a 146. That's me. 1992. That's when it was for sale. Love ink. Uh, Guster Clement Blue, I believe that's how you say it. Um, so uh, the 1992 is the age. That's um, what it was for sale. This one's called a transitional piece uh, because it has some of the parts from the previous, before they started changing the, the um, parts. So it has a little bit of both, new and old parts. It's new. It's a new. No, this one is not brand new. I'm pretty sure this one's used. Does it have an ink window? No, I don't see one. No, no ink window. So yeah, this is a 1992 number. And I bought it used. How is that? Am I saying that right? I hope so. Just a little. Seagull, Monty Winfield, in a Taylor Pins. This is piloting.
can see why. You, you, you kind of see the bird's beak there. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I see it's skipped in, uh, on the label because I bought that with the pin, but then I, for some reason, I switched it. Don't ask me why I did. <laughs> oh, this one um, I had for last month, and I says, ah, I like it enough to keep it. Well, then I ended up hating it. Ink. It just started doing uh, hard starts. This is the Kodra that I went on to Winfield. You see, it kind of looks like a Kodra, huh? This part here. Yeah. It just started giving me hard starts. And it was the ink. It just didn't like the dry ink. So that one was washed early because it still had ink in it. Taylor Pins. I thought this last year, I believe, at. Uh, Pretty sure at the Land of Pin Show, and also I had the nip done last year in Land of Pin Show. Crisp. It's left foot. Nib grinder. I asked him, he says, Oh, you want to do another one? I said, Yeah, I just don't know what. And he says, You, you need, do you have a balik? I go, I don't have any of the baliks. He says, You'll love it. You know what? I love it. Where'd you get the right area? We just put away for a while. I sometimes forget. So, all right. I'll let me show you. And if you look, you can see where it's being ground down. Oh, and I love it. Just another thing about that. I do believe this one is a dock nib. Um, my mistake when I bought it. This is another one that um, I hated the ink in it. It's just started. So I washed it out. Uh, Taylor pins with a... Uh, oh, you're going to love this. I wish I had it inked. I did last month. So you... No, actually, it ran out of ink three times. That's how much I used it. So I said, uh, this is a stub, a 1.1 stub, but it's a flex. And it had the night feed, so it just, oh, it glides and glides. Oh, it's a beautiful pen. And since I just inked this one up, I wasn't thinking I already had a flex. I inked this one up. And I'm, so I'm keeping this one. Uh, this and it's in a thank Franklin because um, Nib Lab makes them long. I am not a pro at this, but, but you know what? I have fun. And can I tell you that's all that matters? And I'm not holding it right for some reason. The nib is beautiful. Hopefully I stop that right. Oh, it ran out of ink today, so I did fill it. There it is. Oh, I love this. I love all my flexes. I may not be the greatest person at it, which I'm not. Do you know what? I have fun. Isn't that all that matters? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have a big card, and I'm switching over to a little card. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. All right, this is a P I S S A K A. Looks like it's a three. Oh, I didn't write it down. Let's make sure, huh? I see three. This is done by Dinslav. River City Pins. And 
It's fun to go into the ink to make a different color. I love doing that. Just a little bit, just enough. Golden Orchid. See, that is, this is the tropic color. Oh, let me show you. Three, right? Yeah. There we go. River City. I love, I love it. I love it. Um, this one's sort of the San Francisco Pin Show. Love it. I love the colors of it. This is a medium. Seven three seven seven six. Under her. Oh, and it has a cute nib. Hopefully, you guys can see it. It's beautiful. This one will try to go into next month too. Alright, almost to the end, people. We're almost. And also, I bought this last year at Orlando Pen Show. I missed a lot at the Orlando Pen Show. Um, Friday, I was I did okay, but Saturday, I think it was too much having. Two shows in two weeks. It is not a new one. That uh, um, uh, uh, I think what the material is this acetate. I don't know. Whatever it is, this is vintage. But it was newly made last year. That's so nice. Then the show. Okay, this is the last one. Then we go into our holiday pins. Only a few of those. This is a medium. Taylor pins. This is dining. Yeah, I did a big dining kick. But they do make nice inks, in my opinion. See, I do a, I don't know, I stole this black nib off of another pen to go in this. Because this one, okay. I'm really quite, um, what's a nice word to put it? I like things just so. I like them lined up. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Here it is. Since it's October. Holiday pins. Only a few. There we go. Visconti. My second one. It's my second Visconti that it's my... Number two on the list. All right, I gotta put that down. I, I use this so I don't drag my oils all over because then it gets really hard. This is a two pencil. Fine pins. And this is it's quite red. I'm gonna show you. You see, two, two, two. This one is called. I don't know if they even make it now. I've had it for years. I do believe I bought this at the. I'm pretty sure I, before Orlando started having a pin show. Pretty sure I bought this at um, Atlanta Pin Show. I just love it. All right, next one is Stanford Pins. This is my first one. This is years old. Um, these little brown pieces are actually wood they used to. They used to be called something else than what they're called. And it's, they were always called Stanford. I hope that's, hope I didn't rearrange their name. Yeah, I'm still on. Pins. This is Wearingo. Another. I love this ink. 
Ayan. Robin Caruso. It's just a stock. You guys have seen those. Where's my thing? Just here. Oh, thank you. I don't have enough room in my case. Frank and Kristoff. I do believe this one is called Ghost, but I could be wrong, so I won't swear to it. Twenty thousand. I never see. Yeah, that's a teeny tiny nib. That's another five. I didn't even know what I was doing when I got these pins with the fives. I, I, I like them, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just, it's interesting. Then you, it's not only been you so far. No, it isn't. I had a Christmas one. I heard they, they had another Christmas one coming out, so I do love my Christmas. Then you, it's broad. Ringo. Stein. Frankenstein. Believe it or not, we got through all the pins. Here's where I started. I'm already collecting pins for next month. <laughs> There's three, six, nine, twelve. I have fifteen. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep the same amount, which is how many? Two, four, five, six. Right around forty-one. Give or take. And of course these, I am going to keep the uh, Stanford pins. I like the, uh, everything about it. Um, once Halloween's over with, I'm done with that too. It's just the way I am. It's just the way I am. Um, and that's thing with this pin, because that is the one that's called Ghost. I say it's just, it's just the way I am. I, I tend to be done with them. I know. It's just like at Christmas. You don't want to be around me at Christmas. Um, try to raise this up enough for you guys to see it all. Where's the October? Anyways, so this is it. Uh, I know it's not as many as I used to have. I don't think I'm ever going to get that high again. I mean, 82, 83 pins inked. Wasn't that much? I'm actually, of course, December. You know what I start doing in December? I always have done this. Is I um, I go down a lot, and then I start picking pins that I miss. Um, and instead of doing um, a review on uh, for the month, I'm starting to do five pins that the nib, the pin, the nib, and the ink was just perfect. So that's what I started doing instead, because you, you guys knew. I mean, I've already told you what I thought of some of them. I mean, it's basically what it is. So, you know, like this one, I just don't like the ink in it. So, you know, you know, it's just what it is, what it is. Um, I will have four more, but I have them sitting out. So that's the reason why I know one, two, three. Yeah, I have four more Mablunks inked. Uh, yeah. I inked up the new one. Oh my god. Digital media. Oh my god. Anyways, I need to keep quiet because, uh, yeah, we're working on an hour. 
Sorry about that. I hope you do enjoy these. Um, if you want me, I don't break them up in two because I just find people don't want to watch the second part. But uh, tell me if it's too much, and I'll cut down my, I'll only do like 20 pins, you know, pick out. And it just had 20. Well, that wouldn't be any fun for the five that I love. So maybe 30. I am thinking of going to 30. I was thinking I want to go to 50 because that's what my pin box holds. I don't think so. Anyways, you guys let me know. You know, you mean a lot to me. And I want to say thank you for watching. Um, thank you for watching, subscribing. It means a lot to those of us who... It really does mean a lot to all of us who put out our... Uh, videos. Anyways, enough on that. Have a wonderful day.